What is up guys? We are here with your 5k Orlando winner Largest prize pool in Dragon Ball Super so far Jonathan Rodriguez from PPG. What did you do this time, man? Well, I top with Hiragan Control Mono blue control. Mono blue control back at it again. Do you play anything other than blue? <laughs> I try, I try, but th at the moment there is no way. <laughs> There's no. All right, let's check out the spicy deck profile. Let's start over here. All right, so one drops Dende. Uh, the reason I'm playing Dende in the main is because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to lose against Sharon and or any kind of deck that ramps. So you, I never got anyone like to the, to eat the energy, but. It keeps it on check. They're not gonna objection. They're not gonna keep up if I if I'm playing Dende. So it, and it's always a draw card 5k combo. So it's always like basically a 10k combo at that point. So it's really good. I, I wouldn't change it. It was really good. Um, Trunks, the best card of the deck. Well, no, it it just helps a lot with the uh, in the storm matchup. It's just really good. It's just for one for one mana, just um, <laughs> attack. Uh, it brings one of the 20k for free. It has crit. You can use it, it's really versatile. If you're trying to just create the opponent, it's just a 20k crit. It's just really good. Uh, if you're trying to uh, just uh, get rid of the opponent's field, it just it creates a lot of pressure. This stays on the field, which means they have to deal with it now. And it, it's really good against that. Like It, it, it is really good. Uh, the Vanisher Fu is a double strike. Uh, sometimes I needed a way to finish uh, the game if I didn't have any. Uh, and it's a double strike. Overarm the, your, your blocker or something. Uh, just go for game. Or there, there, there's a lot of utilities for it. Just banish the, the chain runs or anything that, that, that is creating problems. Against the cell matchup, just banish the cell. So I like it. It was really good. The best card of the deck is just like draw a card, three mana, draw a card. That's the real best card. <laughs> yeah, this is so good. Oh uh, yeah, okay. yeah, it's true. <laughs> That's not the best card. <laughs> yeah, we haven't gone there. Good. But it's pretty good. Yeah, it's just no sense for another. This is uh, the best self awakening of the deck. Um, Cause against uh, Shenron, it was really good. Cause you put back the um, this the, those the, that was the whole reason to play him uh, against Shenron and against Janine by it was really good too. Uh, you put the cards back on top of the deck. Uh, you put the Sharon's back on top of the deck. You put the the, the wing come back on the deck in the, in case of the Sharon, because if they're gonna swing with, because uh, I played the hat against the hand destruction Sharon, and I just put back the uh, 17 on top, and they just either have to hard cast it or just discard it some other way. So it, it was really good in that case, and you need two cards out of that. So it's, it was really good in that case. Um, Champa is just self explanatory. You just wanna Champa everything. When the Dera too. <laughs> now this is the best card. Best card. <laughs> Real best this, card. This is, this, is, this is what won me the um, the finals because it was I, I sent back all three of them and he was he was doing the right thing, which was negating the leader because I was I was just looking for the uh, for the for okay. the moment to just dump all of three of them and just go from your opponent just goes from hand like from I, I think it was an eight just goes down to four and then they have to accommodate this so it's, it's just like it was insane this card is just really good again in defense offense always is just it snipes things out of the opponent's <laughs> are it's just really good it, it's really amazing close. uh sense wing because self explanatory yeah sense wing <laughs> uh, only three negates uh the reason because I needed to find space in the deck because I was I, I was putting the tapions in so uh, I felt like the against a storm, yeah, I need the, the other negate, but I, I said I have it on the side deck. So uh, I just felt like in the main deck is is good enough uh, against the storm matchup or any other matchup uh, for that sake. And I didn't feel like I needed like all three, and it worked out. It paid off. So I just it was just me looking for ways to make space for the tapping so this this had to go in that case uh one of the best beaters on, on my deck because it's just for two mana just 20k uh, and it comes for free so even if you have to hard cast it it's really good because it's only for two and it, you, you think like a vanilla 20k is not like it's not it just doesn't do anything but it puts a lot of pressure into opponent um vegeto because that's another win con if you sit on a Vegito and you have the Little Awaken, there's no way anything is coming through you. So that's another win con. And then if you have this guy out, you can easily take life from uh, Vegito and then just keep going with that. Uh, the best super combo in the game uh, by far is just get rid of the dead cards in the match. Uh, sometimes I, I drew the um, Mafuma. 
and they just pitch the with this and just do live cards. So it's always alive. It's always really good. Like the best super combo. Uh, pseudo super combos. I'm playing four and three. Again, I had to cut something for the tapion. So I said like, well, okay, I can come. I cut one super combo. I have the other one on the cyborg just to add consistency when you're playing against uh, rush decks. Uh, but yeah, I just uh, I didn't feel it like I lost in the match just playing uh, one less. Uh, but yeah, that, that was it. Uh, Mafuba and Pilaf. Um, Mafuba was really good um, against Janemba, against um, against um, uh, Chen Ronnie was really good, and <laughs> against everything else, it's just it's just a good card to have in the main. It just cut people agar if you have it in the main. So it was really good. And Pilaf, it was really good. Again, I, I've been, this card is really good against uh, Swap sometimes. It's not, um, some, it, it depends. It, it demands an answer if they, don't, if they just go for the swing. So unless you have the, 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 the mindset, they, they, they are scared to swing if, if you have Pilaf. Sometimes, because if you, sometimes it's just, it's just a good card. It's just, mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it. And against Sharon is the main reason you play it, because you want to take the triple, triple attack. attack. Yeah. All right, let's look at the sideboard. All right. Giant leader card, of course, the only way to play. The only way to play her again, yeah. <laughs> that, this this was the reason. <laughs> let's put it right here. Leader was bigger, that's why he won. All right, so... Um, this leader was bigger than others. Yeah. Unfair advantage. <laughs> uh, Max AM, because uh, against any kind of deck, even against Chiron, I put it in, because... Uh, you Kill get to warp the turn round, you warp the, the turn round, you warp... Uh, oh, warping air. is huge. Yeah, warping is huge against uh, those kind of decks, because they, they don't get it back from the graveyard, which is how they win, so... It, it was really good in those matchups. Uh, and against Storm, it's good. Against any kind of deck that spams cards, it's good. So you want to have it. And you can overrun easily uh, because it's just five. So I'm for one energy. Uh, Fu, uh, I put it in mainly for uh, Cell. Um, and any other deck, like maybe um, Chain Attack Seno. But I, it, I didn't play any against uh, Cell or Chain Attack during the whole tournament. So I, I, I wasn't. it didn't come up. Uh, the fourth one to that <laughs> consistency mm -hmm. uh, against the, any kind of, when I want to do this guy as my main win con, uh, I just have consistency. Uh, this uh, you guys saw it in the uh, feature match, it was insane in that, in that case because it just cleared out the board against my uh, that's one of the reasons I won uh, the against the galactic guy and top seat in top uh, 16. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a Machado, yeah, this is like how I destroy Machado in, <laughs> in Swiss. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, because it's just clean the war and then my leader just do the rest, so it was really good. Um, another two pillups to uh, add consistency against the uh, Chenron matchup because I was really scared about the um, the Gogeta Chenron because mm -hmm. you have to draw hard draw, to draw one of this, yeah. so you have off, to add consistency, yeah. Uh, this guy... I don't know how to feel about this guy. Not it's in good. the main deck. That's crazy. It's good, but against certain um, uh, swap uh, leaders, okay. it's not that amazing against Kurgan. In my case, in this deck, I don't feel like. I'd rather just stand back the uh, the, the pillars uh, instead of this one. If I'm going second, if I'm going first, uh, I rather no. If I'm going first, I rather play this guy. Mm -hmm. If I'm going first, but. Um, Against uh, Trunks, this one is way better. Yeah, I agree. This one is way better against Trunks, and that's it. That's just, and against Cell, also that was the reason that I was playing this one. This one here was objection, uh, because um, I, objection was only for Cell. So, but I feel like it, it wasn't needed. If if the only way that they have to sell for waking are one drops, if I play this guy, they're not never awakening, and I can just control the day, uh, the game from there. So that was the main reason that I play it, but it, it added it added value to the storm matchup. So that's why I, I put it in. Um, the fourth uh, negate, the fourth um, super a pseudo super combo to add consistency, and this guy never come up because it's only against like uh, cell matchups or chain attack cell matchups or any kind of hand destruction. Hand destruction. Hand, yeah, it came up in hand destruction. I, I put it in, but I just never saw it. We never got there, but yeah, it's just as consistency. Uh, I mean, it just it's a good recovery card. Removes cards, put it in the bottom of the deck, and draw cards. So it's, it's really good in that case. And that's it. Awesome. Really depth in profile uh, in um, in depth 
profile. Thank you again for the deck. It's a very unique deck. Nobody really saw this coming. You destroyed Storm every single time you played it. You're going to go over a more in-depth uh, deck profile, right? On the Patreon, check it out. PBG DBS. He's going to go and talk for 20 minutes. Literally, I know this is long, but uh, congrats again. This was a long time coming. You've been winning uh, all the PBG locals. You've been doing really solid top 16 performance at Nationals, losing to the eventual champion on a small misplay. But you're fantastic. Great job. Uh, any shout-outs that you want to give before we uh, we get out of here? Yeah, shout-outs to uh, Pro Play Games for being the sponsor for, uh, for us. And also to Ultra Pro for being a uh, sponsor for PPG players. Awesome. Well, Pro Play Tour, we're going to catch you on those leaderboards, winning that real cash money. Make sure you guys check it out. First Pro Play Tour, Atlantic City, January 19th and 20th. Clash of Fates. Maybe you'll not play blue. Who knows? <laughs> Peace. I'll try.